Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that Lionel 8902 that arrived. This was that DC locomotive. Picked this up for five bucks. Now, I've got the uh, uh, rectifier mounted inside the shell. It's wired. It's ready to go. I have not replaced the headlight yet. The headlight was actually a micro screw-in bulb, as you see. So I'm going to have to find some kind of replacement for this. Very likely a grain of wheat bulb. So for now, no headlight, but uh, it's up and running. Just got this reassembled. The uh, rectifier is mounted inside the shell completely out of the way. So let's turn the power on. We'll take this around and see how we do. Uh, Lionel 8902 DC locomotive running on AC. As you see, That's about 50% power and running just absolutely splendidly. And this locomotive is virtually new. There's not a scratch on it. It actually it looks new, like it just came out of the box. Five bucks on eBay. Straight DC. Like I always stress, don't overlook the junk and don't overlook the DC locomotives five bucks it was on there for two weeks and nobody bid on it of course because it was DC what can you do with a DC locomotive but that three dollar rectifier this will now run on any standard AC layout and as you see it is running really really well that's 50% power pulling 10 cars marked cars with a lighted caboose so it runs nice it looks nice and it was absolutely dirt cheap five bucks and I was the only bidder so a grand total of about 15 minutes to install that rectifier. Reassemble the locomotive. I gotta pull it back apart when I uh, put that light bulb in it. But good enough for now. It's up and running and running really, really well on standard AC track power. Really difficult to beat that. So a Lionel 8902, and as you can see, it looks virtually new. There's not a scratch, there's no play wear, there's no damage to it of any kind has a traction tire on the rear uh, wheel and uh, up and running on standard AC power and the nice thing about this of course is these uh, can motors you can run them really really slow at a good constant speed as you see Let's take it back up to 50 percent so up and running So the only thing left to do is uh, replace the light bulb. This will be a nice addition to the collection. Absolutely dirt cheap. As you see. So it looks nice, it runs nice, and it was five bucks. Really difficult to beat that. So those rectifiers are inexpensive, three bucks. It only takes a few minutes to install them. You run the uh, power to the rectifier and then the rectifier to the motor and uh, that converts the uh, AC into DC and they're up and running with uh, absolutely no changes to the locomotive at all. You'd never know that that's been modified with a uh, full wave bridge rectifier. And uh, it actually mounted in there fairly neat, nice and clean, easy to do, really simple, about 10-15 minutes. And the locomotive is up and running. Now this will run on AC forever. And as you see, that's running really, really well. 50% power pulling 10 cars. No problem with it at all. So again, I gotta say it. Don't overlook the junk. And don't overlook the DC locomotives. So I'll get the headlight installed in this. I gotta find one first. And... Uh, I can't put a standard full-size bulb in there. It'll very likely melt the plastic. It is right next to that uh, lens. So uh, I'll have to use a small grain of wheat bulb, but easy enough to do. And uh, I'll get that mounted, and this will be complete. So a Lionel 8902, like new, looks like it just came out of the box, has a front truck, traction tire, in just absolutely superb condition. Added that rectifier, and it's up and running. Really difficult to beat that, five bucks.
Of course, I was the only bidder because no one else wanted it. But it's a really simple, quick job to uh, install a rectifier in these DC locomotives. And you can get some very small uh, rectifiers. If you're working in a cramped space, you don't have to go with the uh, rectifiers that I'm using. I'm just using them because they're cheap. Three bucks, really difficult to beat that. Anyway, uh, four wires, uh, power wire goes to the uh, rectifier, and uh, the rectifier goes to the motor. Converts AC to DC, and you're up and running. So it looks nice, it runs perfectly, it's virtually new, and it was $5. So, gotta say it again, don't overlook the junk, don't overlook the DC locomotives. So I just want to do a quick follow-up on this, I'll be running this the rest of the day, probably. But it runs well, it looks nice, and it was absolutely dirt cheap. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.